Mike Moore Media. I'm talking to Rodney Cates, director of Rockingham County Emergency Services, our 911 service here in Rockingham County, our first podcast of the new month uh, as we uh, reach out and about around the county. Hey, Rodney, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Mike. Good to be with you this morning. Always good to have this time together, and we're looking at some freezing rain and some uh, kind of wintry conditions uh, coming up on Sunday. We are. You know, Mike, I looked at it this morning, and they're saying potentially more so in our, our western county, so we're going to be right on the fringe of that and where that freezing precipitation could come down, but uh, certainly we'll be ready. We're already monitoring it, and uh, we were actually in some staff meetings yesterday, and we were talking about it. So our preparation, as we thought about on many of these podcasts, we begin way early in, in monitoring these situations. But um, hopefully the majority of it stays west of us, but we'll be prepared. And it looks like it could start out as some freezing rain um, Saturday and or Sunday. So we'll monitor it. And uh, we just encourage people to, to monitor their forecasts. Um, and, again, we've talked about many times having those family plans, having a plan of what to do if you lose power. Um, what is your alternative power source? If it's a generator, do you know how to use it? Is it is it serviced? Do we know where to place it? Certainly place it outside, generators, charcoal grills, heating sources. None of that needs to come inside. Uh, they certainly can be deadly situations if we do that. Um, knowing and our pets, knowing where our pets are, are our pets safe during these situations? Safe road travels. We know stay off the road if at all possible, but if, if we have to go somewhere, utilizing a safe following distance and a safe speed in these conditions. And all of those things, if we're thinking about them now, before this event happens, or any other event, you know, this could be the, the start of a, of a busy winter for us. So if we're, we're making those plans and preparations now, we will be uh, ready for that when it actually hits. Uh, I've heard you say repeatedly, uh, be prepared. That's the key, isn't it? It is. And, you know, that's, again, that's what we do. That's why we're monitoring these forecasts now and, um, it's it's all about, you know, the surprise attack is what gets us all the time in, in any situation. Yep. So that's why we – and I, I liken a lot of things to sports. You know, they they practice and they practice and they look at what the other team does, and that's us looking at these forecasts. What's the weather going to do? The weather right now is the other team. So we're planning for what the other team does and how we can best be prepared for what the other team is going to do. So that's why we – if, if we want to look at it from a sports analogy, certainly the weather's our opponent this weekend, and we had to be prepared for that game, and that game will start Saturday and or Sunday. Yeah, oh, that's a good way to look at it, too. I'm, uh, I'm looking back at my weather journal through the years here in Rockingham County. Let's see, we had a big snow on January 25th, 2004. I, don't, I have big snow, but I don't know how big that was, but I do have January 6th which is interesting. Uh, so this weekend, seven-inch snow in our county in 2017. And as you're just saying, uh, some freezing rain may be coming in uh, late Saturday and, and Sunday. So, yeah, January and January and February could be some rough months in, in our area. It could. And, you know, we, we certainly, as your weather journal shows, we've had that before. And historically, those could be our problematic months, and it could go all the way into March. We've mm-hmm. seen snows well into March. So, um, you know, certainly being ready for all of those those next three months that are coming up will certainly get us ahead of the game. Yeah. We've talked about Code Red before. Uh, it always pays to mention that. Some people may be new to the area. Tell us how that works. Code Red is a, a, an alert, an emergency alert uh, notification system. We can target addresses. We can send messages out countywide. We can send it out in a five-mile radius of where an event may be occurring. But what it does, it alerts people of a problematic situation. Um, It doesn't always have to be emergency in nature. It could be um, a lot of municipalities use it for trash pickup and and water, boiling water situations, things of that nature. But typically from the county perspective, from the emergency services perspective, we send them out based on emergency situations. the weather service utilizes code red if there's a severe threat of weather code red will alert people to do that Um, code red is a very very valuable tool for anybody to have you can get text you can get emails you can get telephone calls when we activate code red it gives us a, a drop down menu of how we want to send that out and we choose all of the above we send it out text email 
uh, telephone call. We even send it to the telecommunications uh, devices for the deaf so that those who may be deaf or hard of hearing can certainly get those messages as well. So it alerts people of ongoing situations. It keeps people uh, situationally prepared for events that are occurring or could be occurring within our county. And you activate that code red there at the 911 center? We do, and mun- municipalities have the availability to operate it too and to activate it. Um, but typically, the countywide messages do come from the 911 center. All of our shift supervisors have the availability to do that. Um, our emergency management staff can can do it, and uh, certainly we can. There's several different avenues of which we can activate it, but typically, yes, it does come from the 911 center. Yeah. Okay. And I know we've talked uh, from time to time, but what a what a great tool ReadyNC.gov is too. It is certainly a, that's a website that's put on by North Carolina Emergency Management. Um, they have so many preparation tools and, and assets that one can utilize to prepare for these events or any other events, just traveling. If one is going on a vacation this weekend to the beach and they want to look at what are travel situations or what are road conditions or, or construction that they may encounter, they can go to readync.gov and, and get that information. So it's certainly a very variable resource for people to use. Yep. Lots of uh, things online, uh, good tools out there, too, for sure. Uh, anything else we need to mention, Rodney? No, uh, I think we're off to a good start this year, and, uh, again, we'll be prepared for whatever comes our way. And, you know, I've said it many times, and we have a strong team. Rockingham County is very fortunate to have a strong team from the 911 standpoint, EMS, our volunteer fire departments, um, our rescue squads, our EMS, um, our fire marshal's office, our emergency management, we have a lot of tools, and we keep those tools ready and available at all times to mitigate these emergency situations for our citizens, uh, to make everything as safe as can as we can. And we're very proud of that team, um, and certainly going into 2024, we'll be ready to to activate as we need to uh, with whatever Mother Nature may throw our way. Yeah. We were out of state for the holidays, and a couple of situations where we were, uh, it made me uh, just think uh, how how appreciative we should be here for our emergency services and all the, the team members you just mentioned a moment ago because we do have a lot of good things in place and, and have for many years. So uh, that that's great that we, we're in good shape here in Rockingham County, better than some others. That's true. And, you know, I've had the availability to, the, to tour this great state of North Carolina and and I would put Rockingham County up against anybody anywhere I've ever been. And I think as a collective group, the partnerships we have, the working relationships that we've developed over the years, um, when it, it all comes down and, and we all need to activate, everybody works well together and, and mitigates these situations in a very, very positive manner. Yep. Rodney, always good to talk to you. I hope it's a good year for you and your team. And we'll talk again next month. All right, Mike. Good to hear from you. Thanks a lot. And bye. Rodney Cates, Director of Rockingham County Emergency Services. You can get more information on their Facebook page. That's Rockingham County Emergency Services. And don't forget readync.gov and rockinghamcountync.gov. Check that out if you knew the area to get acclimated to what's happening right here in our county.